welcome back to my channel. I'm Jen and a few weeks ago I shared what I carry in my little skincare bag for long haul flights and today I'm going to be sharing what I carry in my carry-on backpack as well as my carry-on luggage. I don't like to travel with a lot of stuff so it's important for me to have exactly what I need and only the things that I need. So I just wanted to mention that I do travel to the States about once a year from Korea and my flights look anywhere from 13 to 16 hours depending on whether we have layovers or not. So that's the standard for how I pack the way that I do. So this is my carry-on backpack. This is the Herschel, I think, America or Little America backpack. And this is the smaller size. I know that they have two sizes and I'll be going through the contents of this bag in no particular order. The first thing is my skincare bag and these are just the things that I use on flight. I actually have a separate toiletry bag that I would check in, but this is what I would have with me on my flight. I'm not going to be going through the contents of this bag because I do have a separate video which I will link up here if you guys are interested in my skincare regimen and all the things that I carry. Next, I have a notebook that I always carry with me and this is just to jot down any ideas I might have or, you know, to-do lists. And this is just a notebook from Muji that I always carry with me and my favorite pen. If you guys watched my um, gift ideas for travel video, you guys know that I'm obsessed with these fuzzy socks. And I just got these in Korea like at a sock shop and they were like a dollar or two. But they're so soft and cozy and as soon as I get on a flight, I usually change into these. So this is my passport holder. I got this in Korea about like four years ago and it's not real leather, it was like 20 bucks, but I've been using it since. And I like it because I can um, save my boarding pass here. It comes with this little notepad thing that I can like jot down stuff if I need to. A little place for my pen and obviously my passport. So this has been serving me very well and I won't replace it until it falls apart. This is the bag where I keep all of my cords for my electronics. And this bag I just got for free because I think I bought mascara and this just came as like a, like a gift with purchase kind of thing. So I have my USB cord to charge my external battery. This is the cord to charge my um, Fitbit. This is the cord for my camera, my laptop charger. Now because I am traveling from Korea to the States, this is the adapter for the Korean um, outlets. And so what I do is I just obviously stick this on if I need to use it at the airport in Korea. And then I have one labeled for the US. And if you look closely, it says US question mark because I wasn't sure. I have a ton of these adapters. And then I corrected myself and wrote, yup. <laughs> so when I started traveling back and forth a lot, I went to the Apple store and I got like a box of different adapters to use like worldwide. And on the box, on the back of the box, um, this is just like the breakdown of which adapters work in which countries. And I found that this is super helpful for me, um, no matter where I'm traveling to. So I know exactly what to take with me um, depending on where I'm going. Okay, and the last thing in here that's super important to me is this little thing um, to switch out SIM cards. I have an iPhone 6 that's unlocked so that when I go to the States, I can just pop into an AT&T store and you know, get a SIM card that I can use while I'm there. And it's really nice to have this, um, not so much when I get to the States because they do everything for you at the AT&T store, but let's say I'm on the flight back to Korea and right when I land, I can just use this to just pop out that SIM card from AT&T and then replace it with the one that I use in Korea. And I'm pretty sure this came with my iPhone. So the last trip I went on um, was the first trip where I had these headphones and oh my gosh, I never ever want to travel without these. I won't go into too much detail, but these are the wireless Bluetooth Bose headphones and you guys can check out my gift ideas for travel video again um, for this but they're just so, so comfortable. The cushion around it is memory foam, so even if I fall asleep, um, they don't hurt me, and I absolutely recommend these. Um, this is a little pouch where I carry my external battery. I have one from the company Anchor, and this is good for up to four charges, and you can charge like up to two devices at a time, so I really, really like this. And I just happened to find this case um, 
in a random shop. I don't think it's meant for, you know, anything particular. It's just, it fit perfectly in here. So I love this. This is my little mini Manfrotto tripod in case I want to vlog. So if you guys have watched my everyday makeup bag, this will look familiar to you. And this is just the little bag that I carry around on a daily basis. And it has anything from hand cream to lip balm, mints, gum, whatever. But since um, a month ago, I actually switched over to a smaller bag. So all the contents that were in here, they're now in here. And I won't go through everything in here because you guys can just watch this video if you want to know. So I absolutely need to have this. And this bag I got for free um, from Honest Beauty when I purchased their free trial skincare set. I really, really like this bag. And it's such a perfect size. It's not too big at all. So while I love these headphones for, you know, when I'm on the flight, I don't like to wear headphones if I'm like out on the street just because I like to be aware of my surroundings. And for that, these are my Bose earphones and these are hands down the best earphones I have ever used in my life. And I've used quite a few. These are so, so comfortable. Like you seriously forget that they're in your ears. So the Apple earphones, they kind of hurt after they've been in my ears for too long. Like my ears feel sore. And um, I've had, what is it? What is the other big one? The Dr. Dre earphones I've had, but they're too heavy for my ears. So they would constantly fall out. But these, once they go into your ears, they stay there and um, they're not noise canceling. So even if you had them in your ears and you just like turned off your music for a second and you wanted to talk to someone, you don't have to remove them. And then you can just go ahead and play your music again. And I absolutely would recommend these earphones. And I have the one where it has the remote so I can pick up phone calls and like just control the volume of whatever I'm listening to. And it comes in this little case. This is a little tin where I carry tea, in case I want some tea in flight. And here are a few bags of some Rubis tea and some green tea peppermint. And this tin I got, I bought at a movie theater in Korea. It's the little Kakao Talk friends. I have to have my iPad mini with me and I use this mostly for reading or um, I like to load it up with movies and shows before my flight. And my MacBook, this is my MacBook Air, the 11 inch, and this one needs no explanation. Just love how small and thin and compact it is. I also carry two wallets with me. This is a wallet that I use in Korea and it has, you know, my Korean debit card, my IDs, like the key card for my building. My second wallet is this magic wallet that I got from J. Crew a billion years ago. And this one contains my New York State license and, you know, my US debit card. And this one I'll use for coins. Now, let's say I'm not going to the US and I'm going somewhere else that's international. Brandon and I actually keep a file where we store foreign currency in a Ziploc bag and we put it away and I always make sure to check that folder before we go anywhere in case, you know, we can spend the money that we saved. So I got this carry-on luggage um, a few years ago because it was on sale at TJ Maxx and I'm not the craziest about it. I feel like the color is a little bit obnoxious, but I mean, in terms of uh, the wheels, it, it, it spins four ways, which I absolutely love. And I mean, it's a hard shell, so if I want to pack gifts that I don't want smushed, it's pretty good for that. So the contents of this is pretty simple. I like to carry a bag of healthy snacks just in case, you know, we get hungry on the plane and we don't want to eat the stuff that they offer us. So either this or like trail mix or something, I try to have. So on my most recent travels, I was going to New York and I knew it was going to be really cold there. So I just packed an extra scarf. So if I was traveling to a place where the climate was warmer, I would just pack an outfit that makes sense. So maybe a pair of shorts and a t-shirt, whatever that is, I would pack in here. So this is my makeup bag from Zara. I got this in the men's department and this bag is actually huge. I would not want to risk losing my makeup, so I never check in my makeup. I always carry it on with me. Now, this bag on its own, it's kind of already big and bulky, and because it's so spacious inside, I ended up carrying way more makeup than I actually needed. 
So it was a good lesson for me. I can definitely go with a smaller makeup bag. I won't be going through the contents of this bag here, but if you guys are interested in seeing what's in my makeup bag when I travel, um, please let me know below and give this video a thumbs up. Okay, last but certainly not least, this is my Evolution neck pillow and I talked about this also in my gift items for travels video and I absolutely never ever ever want to travel without this. And if this does not fit in the suitcase, it's totally cool because there's a little velcro strap here that I can strap onto the handles of my um, roll-on luggage so that's really nice. So this compartment here, I like to keep empty to bring back things that I've purchased while traveling or just for things that I don't want getting squished. So another thing I do before I pack is I have a default packing list so that every single time I know that these are exactly the things that I need. And even for this video, I reference that list to make sure that I have everything that I just showed you guys. I'm sure there are some of you out there that enjoy the packing process, but for me, I'm not a huge fan. But yeah, having that list definitely streamlines the process for me. I hope you guys found this video helpful. And if you are curious about what I carry in my makeup bag, make sure you leave me a comment below and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you as always for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!